All right, so the last video I went over the gears in off theorem, um, and now, so before solving the, the the PDE, I wanted to do two things to get them out of the way to not make that that final video like an hour long. Um, so the first one was the gears in off theorem to get underlying dynamics under different measures. Um, first, I showed you how to use gears enough to derive the Q dynamics, which we basically already knew from solving the PDE, but you know, it's a nice, cool little way to confirm that result. Um, and then also how to get from, basically how to get the Q dynamics. It, it didn't necessarily matter that we went from the Q to the QS dynamics. Going from P to QS, obviously you need to get the same result. Um, I just find it a little easier to go from the Q to the QS. Uh, already knowing the Q dynamics result. But anyways, in this video, I want to just do a short little one. Um, again, just so I don't have to do it in the next video of um, solving a geometric Brownian motion SDE. Um, so for example, we know under Q that uh, BST is going to be equal to R S T B T uh, plus sigma S T D W and I guess I'll keep the Q. So the question is here, um, what is how do how do we solve this? So for example, what is is S S T or given that I'm not using the subscripts for these. What is S at T? Um, and it's important to have this as we start to solve the equation and look at payoff functions. Um, like how we know that a, a, the payoff of a call option is the maximum of uh, S, the underlying, excuse me, the underlying at maturity minus uh, our strike price or zero. Um, but obviously we need this. We've done all this work to find things like DS, um, but what is just ST the solution? So I'll show you that quickly right now. Um, the way I like to do it is um, to apply Ito. Ito's lemma to um, I'll pick the function as f equals, sorry about that, log of x. So in so doing, we would have df. Now we don't have a time derivative here, excuse me, but what we would have is uh, 1 over x dx um, minus 1 half. 1 over x squared um, dx squared, the minus because obviously the, the derivative of 1 over x with respect to x is negative 1 over x squared, so I just move the minus in front. Um, <clears throat> so filling these in, in our case, that is the x's, um, we're going to have that d of the log of the stock price um, is equal to 1 over s ds t uh, minus 1 half 1 over s t squared Come on. okay I guess that's how it's going to go with that one dst squared dst squared so um, obviously filling in our dsts and recall we are doing this with the q dynamics so we're under r um, I'm sure you know this by now so I'm going to you know do the part in my head where 
dst squared is of course just going to be sigma squared uh, st squared dt um, again using that multiplication rule so anyways we get uh, dln st is equal to uh, 1 over st and then we have our st dt plus sigma s d d w q t so you see that the stop presses fall out um, and then we're going to get the minus one half uh, one over s t squared um, and again I just did the the product rule in my head to know that this Sigma squared S D squared DT. So obviously these nicely drop out. So this is all equivalent to saying, um, cleaning all this up and simplifying that the LNST is equal to R minus one half sigma squared dt plus sigma dwq of t. So let's um, obviously again our goal here is not to have differential um, and it's also not to have ln so how do we get rid of these things? Well, first let's start with just getting rid of the differential. So basically what we're going to do is integrate. So we're going to have ln s t uh, minus ln s times zero uh, equals the integral from little t to big T of r minus one half sigma squared dt plus we need to go from little t to big t of sigma d wq at t ah you know what this is not right I'm doing from time t, big t, to time little t, not from zero to little t. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. It's really warm in here right now in my... The pen tip is getting so hot that it's sticking to the screen rather than moving nicely. Um, anyways. So, simplifying this um, and solving these integrals, uh, I mean, luckily they're extremely obvious. Um, we're going to have that uh, ln ST equals L and S at little t um, plus T um, plus I'm just going to write this as a uh, like this so good big T minus T but obviously you know we still have a clear issue here we don't want the log of ST uh, we simply want ST um, so we'll exponentiate both sides um, and so we will get s big T is equal to 
exponentiation of ln of st. Um, plus r minus one half sigma squared t minus t and uh, realize I'm still in the exponential here um, sigma w q okay so uh, then we will use um, just a few basic math rules so you know that uh, you know e the exponential of say x plus y is um, equivalent to exponential x times exponential y um, so the point is we could split this up to say that this is the exponential of this we could cut it off here and then we could multiply it say times the exponential of of everything else um, and what would happen well the first term you would have um, you know let's say x t equals uh, the exponential of ln of st times the exponential of all the green stuff. Now this is obviously, you know, these two things cancel and you just get s little t. So in the end then you are finally left with the solution um, this, which is that s at big t is equal to s at little t uh, times the exponential um, of r minus 1 half sigma squared t minus t uh, plus So that is the solution to the geometric Brownian motion SDE. Um, in particular, the one that is given by um, these Q dynamics. Um, now I'm not going to go through all the math here. You can verify that for yourself, but just so you know, because this will also um, become important in the next video when we solve. So this is under Q dynamics. Um, and uh, when we are working under the QS dynamics, so if, if you recall under that, um, it should be obvious. If, if basically our, our, our drift changed, if you remember, going from Q to S, that is from R to R plus sigma squared. So it uh, it actually works out the the obvious way that um, you know, given this and given this, um, you really are led to the same going through all the math um, it really is just adding sigma squared into there so under QS you really would just come up with that S T is equal to S at little t uh, times the exponential of R plus one half sigma squared t minus t uh, plus sigma and I'm going to write qs so these then are is the solution um, if 
we are with QS as the numerator or our QS dynamics. So these two these two solutions to the geometric Brownian motion SDEs under the Q dynamics and under the QS dynamics. Um, in the next video when I solve the Black Scholes uh, PDE, um, I'm just going to simply use these results at certain points.